Hi, welcome to Swiggy C's Bargain Bee Reviews. Not a review today, just more of a, a bit of a topic really that I thought I'd discuss considering we're talking, uh, everyone's talking about the coronavirus and everything at the moment just to take his mind off it and maybe discuss something else. This could be something that other people might want to discuss as well. Um, entirely up to you obviously of course. I am going to drink a beer and I did get it at a relatively about £1.50 range in Tesco's or 3 for 6 quid. At four for six quid even, so one pound fifty, and I'm drinking the hazy days. And there's just days sometimes where you just can't be bothered to review. We just think, I just want to drink beer and not really think about what I'm drinking. I just want to enjoy it. So here we go. Can't be, I always like their beers. I think they're a little bit unique. They're a bit hit and miss. I can't work them out sometimes. They have these weird caps look. Like so it's almost like opening a can of cat food. So you literally just pour it in. Uh, there we go. So it's nice, sort of goldeny colour. Here's today's IPA, and you get you get a lovely mango from it that punches you in the face straight away, which is really nice. A little bit of grapefruit on it as well. I can't be bothered to it. Oh yeah, it's like a mustiness to their beers, but I quite like it. The more I drink that one, and the more I like it as well. I think I've I, have, I think I've reviewed that at some point. I don't know. Anyway, um. I hope everybody's doing alright with the coronavirus and I know that a lot of people struggling with mental health and all this sort of stuff are going to get it the most. The best thing to do is just occupy your mind, just occupy yourself the best way you can. Um, and the thing is, limiting exercise is the worst thing for people with mental health, you know. Uh, so, I, mean, I know I, I, I follow boxing and stuff, I know Tyson Fury's doing his thing and his, I know he's doing like updates of people uh, exercising in his own house and stuff like that. So, maybe follow him if you do do exercise and see what he's up to, because obviously he's an ambassador, I suppose, to people that suffer with mental health these days after what he's achieved from coming from the absolute slums and then becoming world champion again. So anyway, but um, when I say the slums, the slums of mental health, not like coming from the slums, as in like a place that's not very nice to live. So what, yeah, what I'm going to talk about today is, am I a beer snob? The question is, am I a beer snob? And I'm going to answer that straight away and I'm going to say probably. Uh, probably I am a beer snob because there's certain beers that I won't drink anymore. So I guess that would mean I'm a beer snob. Or there's certain beers at least I would probably say I ain't drinking that. I, I'm not doing it. And I, the reason I don't drink it is not so much because it doesn't taste great, but because I feel like if I'm going to drink beer now and if I'm going to put those extra calories on, I'm going to drink something that is nice and worth the, worth the worth the calorie intake you know i'm not proper health freak by any means in fact i'm i'm not i'm overweight i'm overweight by two stone you know so i can't be that good can i but um at the same time i don't want to be putting extra weight on and making myself bigger or unhealthier just for the sake of drinking beer uh, because I, i'm not i'm not at that point in my life anymore and there was a time when i would just drink beer for the sake of it when I was younger, because I was like, oh yeah, it's just beer, it's alcohol, great, cheap, nice. I don't do that anymore. I like beer for its taste, um, and I do like the nice warm feeling you get when alcohol hits you, but I'm not really bothered about getting drunk anymore. I don't get anything from it, and I just feel rubbish for the next week after, you know what I mean? It affects me that bad these days. Uh, I get terrible headaches, maybe that's related to my diet, and maybe I need to change my diet, or I need to eat more vitamins, or whatever, I don't know. But anyway, I, I, it's, it's one of those things. Going back to the original point, am I a beer snob? Yeah, and that's that justifies probably why a little bit. Not because I drink lots of beers that uh, are, I like to drink or I review beers, so I, I generally know what's half decent, even though anyone watching my beer reviews, please don't take anything I say seriously because it's just a bit of fun and it's just my opinion at the end of the day. And I have got experience, I've been drinking a long time, but so have a lot of people, and I'm sure a lot of people disagree with what I've got to say. But it's nice to know that some people agree as well. So, um, and what, what I guess what made me think I was a beer snob was probably maybe a year, two years ago when I went out with people of my, that were my age, but they were new to drinking beer and real ale. And we went out and we went to a pub and they had Doom Bar on. Oh, they had Peroni Lager, and I went for the Peroni Lager, and they were dead surprised. They were like, why are you going for that? I'm not the Dunbar, dude. You're a re you're unreal real ale. You've got your own YouTube channel, and you're only talking about beer and Swiggy and Steve and all that stuff. And I said, well, actually, um, I'm not that bothered about Dunbar. I, I, I just if I, I, I don't want to drink it. 
and I'd rather drink Peroni, which is a really nice, fresh, crisp lager, uh, than than that. And they went, oh, dude, come on, like that. And, and I, that's when I thought to myself. And, and then we went somewhere else, and I think they had, what else did they have? There was something else that's quite generic, and you drink it, and, and, and it's what probably most re most beer reviewers probably would avoid. I can't remember what beer it were now. Um, it might have been something like Tetley's on cask or something like that. But anyway, and they, they said to him again, and says, oh, come on, dude, I didn't realise you were as snobby as this weird beer. And I was like, well, Oh, maybe I am a snob, uh, but I just I think you get to a point, especially when you've had so many beers, you, you just know what you like. So why have anything else than what you want to drink? That's what I say. And and but on the flip side of that, which probably confuse Emmys, I can't be that much of a snob because my beer, my YouTube channel is all about buying beer for a bargain price. But I hope what I I. The idea, the intention of what I'm trying to identify on my channel is that um, you can get really good beer for a cheap price. You can get stuff that's good. You can get stuff that's decent. And some of the stuff I source isn't always from major supermarkets. Sometimes it's from like corner shops that obviously someone who lives at the other side of Manchester or someone who lives in Scotland won't be able to access because they don't have what a, a special, like a specialist off license that does an area. Uh, for random, like for random beer, like the the one in Shafton. I, I know I mentioned this quite a few times, but it's just it's just like a it's like an Aladdin's cave because you go in there. It's just a great little find, and he has a little corner at shop, and it's just he has the most randomest beers, and they're, and because they're like two months before going off, or sometimes they have gone past the sell by date. There's just it, there's all sorts of stuff that he's got there, um, and and I've got founders. I've got a, a, a twelve pack of founders uh, Centennial Ale. And it's uh, for 10 quid and there's 12 bottles in it. So it what works out like 70p a bottle or something daft like that. And it's 7.5% and it tastes fantastic because it's really hoppy. And, and like people say, they hop spade, but it, it it tastes fantastic still. Um, what else I did I pick up the other day? But they've got some really, really good real ales. I've got some from the Arkney Brewery in Scotland in there for £1.25 a bottle. And that's the thing. If you are um, a beer drinker, or if you are a lager drinker, I would when you see beer that cheap, gamble it and just see what it tastes like, and because you never know what it's going to be, you never know. And sometimes I, that's what I do. And sometimes I pick it up and go, ugh. And then, so, but more, I would say ninety percent of the time I pick it up and go, that's really nice and that's good. Or especially when you know you've paid less for it, it just makes it all the worth more worthwhile, doesn't it? Um, I have noticed in the last two years though, I'm becoming more of a. Uh, Supermarket craft beer drinker. I hate this thing with hands, but I did that then with hands. I hate doing that. Stop doing that, Steve. It's really irritating. I hate it when other people do it, so I'm not going to do it. Um, but I also um, I've noticed a bit, I'm going to bottle shops a lot more as well and buying and, and spending five quid on a on a can because I do think if I'm going to stay in on a Saturday night or I am going to enjoy my Friday evening, I do like I'd rather have one or two strong beers that'll be enough to just make me feel really nice and relaxed um that maybe come to a total price of a tenner or even three maybe depending uh depending where i get them from than spending what a tenner and then and having six or seven beers that are just all right and you just feel like you're just filling your stomach full of gas and 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 I'm not I'm not that bothered anymore. Now when I go out drinking and cask beers, I, I'll drink cask all day long because I, I love cask beer. It's easy to drink. It's smooth. It's not you know it's not been pumped full of uh, CO2 and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. So am I a beer snob? Yes or no? I would probably say yes because of the the certain beers I won't drink anymore. So that effectively makes me a snob. But it'd be great to hear what other people have got to say about this subject. Do they think they're beer snobs or not? Um, because I see a lot of people, like for instance, uh, I think I saw Simon from uh, Real Ale Craft Beer Reviews, uh, the, uh, and he was reviewing, I think he was drinking something the other night, and and he obviously reviews everything, and he's always quite critical about you know mass-produced beers and stuff like that, but he also admits he's not a beer snob. Uh, and he was, sure enough, he was drinking something like a, a Carlsberg or something while he was doing a, um, a video blog the other night. Or vlog, whatever it is. And 
Yeah, but I wouldn't. I don't think I would do that. So that would probably make me slightly more snobby in some respects than somebody that drinks lots of beers that cost a lot of money. You know, because mine, even though I do but review bargain beers, it's my, the idea behind my challenge to say, look, for a, for this is the this is what you're getting for the price. Is it worth it? Is it not? Um. So yeah. Anyway. So that, that's me. That's my little say. Uh, I'd like to hear your comments and you tell me, are you a beer snob? Am I a beer snob? Do you think I'm a beer snob? Uh, do you know someone that's a beer snob? Do you think you're a beer snob? Do you not think you're a beer snob? Why? And, you know, that, that that's that's just an interesting conversation to have, just to take his mind off everything else that's going on with the coronavirus and everything else. But listen, the most important is stay safe. Uh, what's going on at the moment terrible. There's no other word to describe it. Everyone's just up in the air. No one knows what they're doing from day to day. People are just walking around in circles. But you just got to take each day as it comes. You've got to try your best. You've got to put your family first. You've got to put yourselves first. Um, and also stick stick to the rules as well with the, with the coronavirus. And, you know, don't go out in big groups. Don't go out in big crowds. Uh, don't go out to crowded places. Don't only do journeys that are necessary. If you're exercising, exercise once a day. Um Obviously, you've got to get out in some when it's like this, and just if you are going to get out, just get some get out somewhere where nobody else is. You know, I'm sure everybody can know somewhere. Probably is everybody knows somewhere where nobody else is, and everyone will probably go there. <laughs> but um, yeah, you've got you've got to just make sure you isolate yourself as best you can. It, at the end of the day, it's a small price to pay for the rest of your life or the rest of somebody else's life as well, for that matter. It's it. Listen, it, it's three months. It's three months, and if we all stick together. I think, anyway, ultimately, I'm hoping touch wood. I've said this to other people. I think if, we, if we're if serious about it, we all stick to the rules. Hopefully, by June time, things are going to start getting lifted again. And hopefully, by, by the end of summer, at least, um, there'll be some normality. And people can open up the businesses again. Because ultimately, that's what it's all about. So, yeah. All right. Okay, so uh, I'll be swinging Steve. And I'll see you next time.